What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 16 in the math three questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question gives us the graph of a function, and we're supposed to figure out which interval best describes decreasing, increasing, positive, and negative if we can only match one interval to each choice. So the big skill this is testing is reading the graph of a function. Now to do a question like this, um, I think we should just look at each interval that it gives us and see which possibilities um, or which descriptions it can match with. So for instance, from negative four to negative one, that's from here to here. We can't really say it's decreasing or increasing because it's actually increasing up until about this point and then decreasing. So we would have to say it's either positive or negative since between negative four and negative one, all of our values are above the x-axis. I would say that negative four, negative one, represents an interval where the function is positive. All right, so next, we need to look at the interval from negative two to zero. Negative two to zero. Now we can't say it's positive and negative, but it looks like the whole way down, it looks like the drop of a roller coaster. So we would call that decreasing. So the interval negative two, zero is one where the function is decreasing because we can see it's always going down within that interval. Next is the interval from zero to two. So from zero to two, we, we could say this is increasing. We could also say it's negative since we can't really narrow it down from here. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at this last interval the problem gives us from an x of zero to an x of four. Okay, so now we can't say that this is positive or negative, but we can definitely say that this is increasing, which means that at this point, we can say pretty definitively that from zero to two, this thing is negative. So this tested just reading um, a graph and also, I forgot to put on my little board that it tested our knowledge of intervals and that these are always um, giving us ranges of x values that we need to look at and evaluate the function for and see what's happening there. But either way, um, that's how we do a problem like this. And of course, if you take a paper test, you won't have to do a question like this, but if you take a computer test, you would just click and drag this thing to this box, this thing to this box, this thing to this box, and this thing to this box.